Good Midwest morning, everyone. This is Nicole, your mobile blog is for TOCtown.com. And it's almost the end of 2020, and hopefully, a lot of you were able to celebrate with friends as well as family. Nonetheless, our day goes on. We still have to celebrate our small business owners as well as help to sustain support for them in 2021. So I mentioned a post maybe around the first or second week of November of different things I've already had a hold of, you know, throughout the years. I've accumulated a lot of planners, digital devices, as well as different forms that I already have online as well as on site. Now you may be looking at this and wondering, she's got a fax cover page. We don't even use those in the 21st century. But just to let you know, there are forms as well as features on your printer, your physical printer, that you may or may not know that was available to you. This was just a fact of printing. One is a music sheet, you know, not that I write music, but if you want to gift someone with maybe a music sheet, you know, as a card or even a backdrop to your planner, you know, you can print out a sheet and make it useful in your planner pages. Next is a topic that a lot of us don't really like to talk about, but it's necessary and it's essential to our small business as well as just personal, you know, life in the United States of America. We all pay taxes, we all have to submit our financial information, you know, whether that's through our school, our work, you know, or even professional assistance that we receive throughout the years of establishing what we want to do here in our adult life. So this is a free PDF that you can download from the irs.gov. I'll go ahead and include the exact link and the publication form that I use. And it's basically a form to get you ready for your year round tax planning. This is not for businesses. This is mostly for you know your personal affairs and your personal records. So it talks about you know check withholdings, organizing your tax records, identifying and filing and dependent status and know how life events can affect your taxes so of course once again I'll include it in the link down below so if you have any questions let me know and just as another disclaimer no I am not a tax professional but professionally I do function as an artisan and as an administrator so I have to be aware of different things I have to make sure are in alignment with our current tax codes and my records. Okay, next is a checklist which you can create on your own. You know, what do you still need to look for? You need to look for your social security number, your EIN number, which forms you have to have. Uh, most of you probably receive the economic income uh, payment so that's uh, a 1444 if I remember correctly um, go ahead and check the forms always go to irs.gov you know just don't take my word for it for your particular situation always have your information according to me I love having a print out of it so in case I need to go back to it I have it in a folder and already ready to access for the years to come and now they're recommending that you keep at least three years of your tax records on site or you know at least accessible to you so you don't want to play games with your tax information and on the back I printed a cute graph page which I didn't know you could do and of course if you know me you've been following my channel you know these uh, spaces are you know a little bit too small for me but I'll definitely do something you know cute and practical in order to make sure I can find this information again and last but not least I printed out a calendar that's actually let me turn it this way portrait and it's a week at a glance which 
a lot of us love the fact that Saturday and Sunday run together, but most likely if you work a nine to five, you know, position or even um, telecommute, then you will definitely know that Monday through Friday is your work week and then the weekends are off time. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is like a notebook sheet of paper. So let's say I write down, you know, an ideal schedule. Then on the back, I can go into more details if I need some more space. And the last little fun fact is, guess what? My printer actually goes to January. Let me turn it this way. January 2400. So actually it moves up to the 25th century. And it actually starts on a Saturday. Woohoo! So that's one solution. Let's say you are participating in NaNoWriMo and you want to create a fictional type of genre book in your 50,000 words search. Then I recommend printing out, you know, the 2400 calendar, 25th century, you know, agenda just to keep yourself on track and knowing what date falls on what day. Alrighty, that's all that I have for you today. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'm Nicole. Your mobile blog is for TOCtown.com. I'll be posting more tips, tools, and techniques that you may find essential to your small business as a solopreneur. As always, you know, let me know what questions you may have. You know, I'll always research it out. Just as a disclaimer, if I do know a professional who is more equipped in answering your question, I can recommend that person to you. It will be a human being and not an app. So let's keep this economy growing and going strong. I pray you have a great Thanksgiving and are able to support and sustain another small business, a mom-pop shop. Until we meet online or face-to-face, -face, be blessed.